Hello, in this video I'm going to show you home screen tricks on the Vivo X200 FE. Okay, so first let's open up the settings. Let's scroll down and let's click on home screen, lock screen and wallpaper. And now let's click on icons first. Uh, and here we can change the uh, icon style. You can see the differences uh, right now um, on the screen uh, and uh, it's it's about the system apps. Uh, below we can change the rounded corners of an icon. We can adjust it by simply uh, grabbing this bar um, and sliding left or right. And that's how we can change uh, the rounded corners. We also have the icon size, so now they are large. And now they are the smallest, so we can adjust that and we can enable or disable to show icon name it's up to you okay when we open up the home settings we can also uh, change the home screen style we have the uh, app drawer or the uh, standard style and uh, when we are in the app drawer when we uh, are on the home screen when we slide to the um, downside uh, in here we have our app drawer and in here we have a list of all apps that we have uh, that are installed on our uh, device but when we simply uh, turn it off and we will go to the standard one and now there will be, they all will be uh, in here on the uh, home screen so now we, will, we won't have a possibility to uh, open up the app drawer mm, it is up to you you need to choose which is uh, more comfortable to you uh, but when we are in the uh, drawer style uh, we can change the uh, background styles such as follow system settings but also we can set the custom one and here we can change the uh, background color the transparency effect or the blur effect even so you can change uh, that manually also uh, all right uh, and also when the drawer mode uh, is enabled we can add icon uh, to home screen feature enable uh, or enable the app suggestion bar okay uh, we can also change the home screen uh, layout so it can be four on six uh, or five on six you can change it and now we have some extra uh, space thanks to that we also have the sliding uh, effect. It can be translation, jumping, superposition, uh, fade, merry-go-round and the turnover. And here you can see the differences, uh, how it will look like and when we are going to slide left or right. So in here we have a preview. Uh, for example, I'll select the jumping mode right now. And now uh, when I'm sliding left or right, you can see uh, that it's a little bit uh, different than uh, normally but uh, let's select it again now maybe the turn over and now you can see uh, I think it's the best uh, example uh, how it looks like when I'm sliding left or right so we can even change uh, that it looks pretty cool also in my opinion we can also lock the uh, layout uh, so when this uh, feature is enabled uh, we will not be able to move or delete items on the home screen uh, but we can enable that feature later in the home screen we also have the icon autofill uh, so simply if there is some uh, free space between the icons on the home screen and uh, that place will be automatically fulfilled so the apps will organize will organize itself and they will mm, fill up the empty space uh, between them on the home screen Below we have the Google Discover also, so it adds media page to the home screen. You can enable it or disable, it's up to you. But also we can change the uh, badges of our mm, apps. So it can be numbers or the dots. And below we have a list uh, of the uh, of the apps uh, that requires permission. And here we can enable or disable uh, those apps. And you can see also that if an app doesn't support batch counts, uh, the batch cannot be displayed. Okay, now let's also hold uh, on when we are on the home screen. Let's hold like that. 
and here also we can change the color and the style and we can enable the system and app uh, UI color we, can, we have some um, presets that we can change or we can select uh, our own in here you can select the preset then simply click on confirm uh, and now it has been set below we have uh, from we, we have the colors uh, from our wallpaper and we can also apply it into our uh, icon so now when it's applied you can see that um, the apps uh, changed their um, their style and same thing is also in the settings in here so we have only one color so if you want you can even adjust those uh, values and settings uh, for me i don't want it so i'll turn it off but now you know that you can uh, change it uh, okay uh, next thing is the widgets and the possibility to create them uh, so uh, in here we can simply create uh, the widgets uh, from uh, some apps not all of them but for example from the cleaner we can create a, a widget we can create the stickers the album highlights, nano music player, the weather uh, widgets, clock widgets, they are really useful in my opinion or for example the chrome and in here below we have a list of all apps of which we can create a widget so for example I'll select the YouTube I'll select that layout, click on add widget and now it appeared right now on our home screen of course we can hold it and I'll change its position on the home screen let's add another one click on widgets Let's add, for example, the uh, weather right now. Uh, I'll like this this style. Click on Add Widget, and now it appears on our home screen. So, also creating creating the widgets is a pretty cool uh, thing that is uh, possible on this device. And in here, you can also change the wallpaper. If you click on those uh, three dots, you can download more from the Themes app. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.